a force acts at the origin of a coordinate system in a direction defined by the angles theta x is 70.9 degrees and theta y is 144.9 degrees knowing that z component of the force is minus 52 newtons determine the angles theta z and the other components and the magnitude of force first let us write the given data given theta x is 70.9 degrees theta y is 144.9 degrees and fz is given as minus 52.0 newtons nothing but 52 and you have to calculate the angle theta z and uh, you have to find the other component so z component is given so other components means you have to calculate fx you have to calculate fy and magnitude of force means you have to calculate force f so these are the parameters you have to calculate so here two angles are there you have to find third angle for this you can use the relation between direction cosines so which is nothing but cos square theta x plus cos square theta y plus cos square theta z is equal to 1. So with the help of this relation you can find the value of uh, theta z. From this I am subjecting it to cos square theta z. Cos square theta z is equal to 1 minus cos square theta x minus cos square theta y. So here you know the value of theta x theta y right just substitute there 1 minus cos theta x is 70.9 whole square minus theta y is 144.9 whole square. So if you calculate it you will get 0 0.22 this is cos square theta z. So here I got the value for cos square theta z. I can find the value for cos theta z. Cos theta z is equal to square root of 0 0.22. So I will get 0 0.47. So this may be positive value or negative value. I don't know that. How to find that one means here uh, force will be positive. So force f will be positive. Here f means a magnitude of force. Magnitude of force will be positive. The magnitude of f force cannot be negative. It will be positive. Uh, given that fz is negative. To make f positive cos theta z must be negative. So therefore cos theta z is equal to minus 0 0.47. So here I have considered negative value for cos theta z. Why because? So to make force f positive. The magnitude of force f positive. So cos theta z is minus 0 0.47. From this you can calculate theta z which is nothing but cos inverse minus 0 0.47. You will get obtuse angle. So 118.03 degrees. So this is the value of theta z. So theta z is over. Next you have to calculate fx fy. So before that let's calculate fz. fz is equal to f cos theta z from this we can find the value of f f is nothing but f z by cos theta z so given f z is minus 52 newtons and cos theta z just now we got that one as minus 0 0.47 from that we will get the value for f if we simplify it we will get double one zero point six four newtons this is the value for f now you want to find fx and fy so simple relation fx is equal to f cos theta x you know the f value right you got it right now 110.64 cos theta x is given as 70.9 degrees so simplify it you will get fx value that is 36.20 newtons.
so this is the value of fx if you want to find fy so same kind of relation you can use fy is equal to f cos theta y f is 110.64 cos theta y is given as 114. Point, sorry 144.9 degrees from that you can find it so it is minus 90.52 newtons this is the value of fy so we have calculated fy f and fx theta z is also over thank you for watching hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe